Hey guys, I have another book review for you today. Um, today's book is called Third Degree by Greg Isles. As you know, if you already watch my book reviews, I love suspense thrillers, like murder mystery, that kind of book. Um, this is no different, but it is, but it's not. It's a suspense thriller for sure. This book, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I've never had a book do this to me before. It was the weirdest thing. I kept telling my husband, I feel like I'm doing something wrong because what I was feeling when I was reading this book and what the main character is going through, it was making me feel like I had done what she had done or something. And it was making me feel guilty. It was the weirdest thing. I kept telling my husband, I'm like, it's so strange. Every time I'm reading this, I'm like, I feel like, oh gosh, like I'm doing something. It, it was so bizarre. So that was very interesting. And I would give a lot of credit to the author for that because to make your reader feel that involved in the story, I think is pretty unique. And so that in itself was the first point that made me be like, wow, this is a good book. Now, I will say, if you are someone who has ever been in a, well, in an, in an abusive relationship uh, with a spouse, a boyfriend, something like that, this may not be something you want to read. I think it could possibly trigger something that would not be good for people who have been in that situation. So um, there is de definitely a domestic um, abuse, well, I mean, situation that arises during this. And so I would definitely say if that is something that would be hard for you, then you would not want to read this book. Um, because it's, it's scary. I'm just going to put it that way. It's scary. You, when you're reading this, you are feeling like, oh my gosh, like, how can I help get, I, I, it is, this book really just drew me in and made me feel things like I was part of the story and I'm trying to, in my mind, like trying to help resolve the situation. Like, what can I do to help make this better? Even though it's a book, Danielle, and you're just reading it didn't really happen but it's just it's that good I feel like the author did that good of a job of um telling this story and making you feel these feelings so I didn't even uh tell you give you the little blurb yet so you already have an idea but let me let me read you the blurb it says in the span of 24 hours everything Laurel Shields believes about her life and her marriage to a prominent doctor will be shattered if she survives a terrifying ordeal the day begins with the jar jarring discovery that, soon after ending an affair, Laurel is pregnant. But when she returns home to find her husband, Ash her husband ashen, unkempt, and on the brink of violence, a nightmare quickly unfolds. In the heart of an idyllic Mississippi town, behind the walls of the perfect house, Laurel finds herself locked in a volatile standoff with a husband she barely recognizes. Confronted with evidence of her betrayal, she must tread a deadly path between truth and deception while a ring of armed police prepares a, dis a dangerous rescue. But Laurel's greatest fear and her only hope lies with her former lover, a brave man whom fate has granted the power to save both Laurel and her children, if she can protect, protect his identity long enough. When things are going on in this situation, there's one like ticking time bomb, basically. Not an actual ticking time bomb, but this thing that you would equate to that, that is going on that you're just waiting for when it's going to ding, you know? And so that is the underlying, the whole time the story is unfolding, that's always at the back of your mind, like you're wondering when that's gonna, you know, happen. And so there's just this constant, I've never read a book like this where you just feel this constant, like, tension kind of, um, this constant suspense because during all the other suspenseful, suspenseful things, there's this one thing that's there that you're just waiting for. So it's, I just think this author, this is the first book I've ever read by him, Greg Isles. This is what he looks like. Um, I think I'm going to look for other books by him because I loved this book. This might be one of my most favorite books that I've read in a really long time. Um, if you don't remember, I would have to say my other kind of most favorite one would be the fate of <laughs> would be the fate of Catherine Carr, which I'll go ahead and link the um, review video here for that because if you haven't read that book yet, I highly recommend it. So you can watch that review if you'd like. But um, 
aside from that book, this one is my favorite one that I have reviewed so far. And um, I just think it's something that's very, it's like you can relate to all of the characters, not all the characters, but the main characters. I can feel like the struggle in each one of their circumstances and um, where each of them are coming from and there's wrong that's being done and it's you know I think it's a good picture of what infidelity can do to an entire family that when you make that choice to step outside of your marriage how it greatly affects everyone in your family and just what a selfish act that is and obviously while this is very extreme what happens in this situation um, it doesn't have to be you know such an extreme deadly situation that happens to still be devastating to family to children to you know whoever is being betrayed and so um, I think in that sense it's something that's very real it's something that happens a lot which is very sad and so I think it's a good reminder about how um, your actions create such a ripple effect and how your selfishness what you want you know takes over and can completely just kind of annihilate a family basically and um, so while this is on the very extreme end it also I think holds you captive a little bit because you know that you know aspects of this story are things that people actually deal with um, frequently and so I think in that way it, he took the author took something very um, real and um, you know a real issue that many people have experienced or have watched you know happen around them to people and um, so it kind of draws you in that way because it's a familiar you know just scenario that happens in life to a lot of people and um, but I think it's a good reminder of you know the devastation that can be caused by our selfish selfish actions and so um, I think that you know there's something that can be learned when you read different stories about things like a lot of times the things that capture us the most are because they're so real and because the potential for them happening is so real and so um, <clears throat> I just I, I think it, the author did a really good job with this book this was something that I it kept my attention so completely I every time I was like picking it back up to read I was like oh my gosh like I, I would you know feel everything build back up again as I started to read and it was just it was a very captivating story and um, well and you know it's like you're waiting for this happily ever after and do you get it I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna have to read it and see but you know it's like in our minds we make this idyllic like oh and then this happens and everything turns out great and blah 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 and that's not always reality and it's not always reality in stories either and a lot of times it's not reality in real life actually but um, so um, I think the author did a very good job with that also and um, making things a little more realistic and so obviously I'm not gonna tell you what all ends up happening but it's one heck of a ride and it will keep you on edge until the very end and so um, do I recommend third degree by Greg Isles I absolutely do I think this is a book you will not be able to put down either because it's that good and so um, if any of you have read this please let me know what you thought of it or if you do end up picking it up and read it let me know what you think um, but yeah I definitely I'll have linked down below where you can get it and that kind of thing too so I hope that you guys enjoyed this book review and um, that if it's something you do pick up you will feel like I steered you in the right direction because um, I really think you will enjoy it and so thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back with another book review soon Talk to you later. Bye.